Nice to be with you again this morning. During this week, I am highlighting some of the Bible verses that have meant a huge amount to me in, in my life. Uh, we did Proverbs 3, we did Revelation 1, and today, another verse that I often speak about. Um, in my parents' home in Pinelands, where I grew up, there was a, a little scripture verse on the mantelpiece. It, it, it had been carved out with plastic and had been painted with a certain paint that glowed in the darkness. If you held it to the light and you switched the light off, you would see this object or this scripture verse uh, glowing in, 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 the, in the night. And I'm thinking of those words, looking unto Jesus. And they come from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. You'll find that in the New Testament. Hebrews was written to a community of people that were really under stress, huge pressure on them. Again, with an uncertain future, and they were thinking about their faith and wondering whether it was worth it. So many things just did not make sense. And the writer to the Hebrews, whoever that was, we don't know exactly whether it was Paul or Paulus or whoever, but that's not important lists a long catalogue, a long list of people who faced adversity and kept going forward, looking at the one, says the writer, whom they did not see. Now that's quite a challenge, the one they did not see. And at the end of that list, the writer then says, listen, we've got to run with perseverance, the race that is set before us. That's what we've got to do in these days. We've got to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, casting all off all the unnecessaries. And then come those words. We're going to run the race looking unto Jesus. We've got to keep focused. Many years ago, in fact, it was the same day that Nelson Mandela was relieved from Paul's prison. I swam the Midmar Mile. Now, I'm not renowned as the world's greatest swimmer, believe me. There ain't no Chad Leclerc in this guy. I'm, I'm, I've, I've never, never attained any heights in swimming, but I thought this particular year I would enter the Midmar Mile. And uh, uh, I remember standing there at the starting point, looking across the Midmar Man Mile, just out of the Midmar Dam, just outside uh, Howick, thinking, oi, 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 that is far. Not only is it far, but uh, if you go the wrong direction, which I am inclined to do, I don't swim straight, I swim in a, at an angle. And I thought, this is not looking good. I'd probably be washed through the sluice gates of the Midmar Dam into the Umzumduzi River and reappear at the mouth of the Umzumduzi River in due course at Durban a few days later. And I remember speaking to the guy next to me and I say, how do I keep going straight here? And he said, do you see that tree over there? And he pointed to what looked like a complete matchstick on the other side of the dam. He said, when you're swimming, just keep that little tree, turned out to be a big tree, but that tree in eye, in picture. So I did that. And I swam, and I swam, and I swam. Neither to the left, nor to the right. I didn't do particularly well, but I got there. Thanks to having kept my eye on that tree. Well, it was a kind of life lesson. And ever since then, I have thought much about these words written by this writer, Paul Oropolis, to these Christians really, really battling. We've got to persevere. We've got to persevere. Just keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. God be with you. And remember those words written on our mantelpiece in Pinelands, looking unto Jesus.